Christmas is almost here, so today I will show you how to make a Christmas drawstring bag. The first time I made it, the hem was on the bottom. Then I tried to make it again and I made a mistake, so the cast off became messy. But I will show you everything step by step, so you won't have to face these mistakes. I will use card number 6B with these reindeers, you can download it from the link in the description. First I will attach the card reader on the left side of the machine. Make sure the center arrow of the card reader is pointing at the marked place on the rail. To make 3 repetitions of the pattern we have to raise 60 needles to the left and 60 needles to the right of zero. And to make the seam at the end, we have to raise one additional needle on each side. So we will have 61 needles to the left and 61 needles to the right of zero. Place the edge springs on the last needles and make sure the latches are closed. Push the trigger for the row counter to the left as far as it can go. You must have a total of 122 needles in working position on the front bed. Now raise 122 needles on the back bed of the machine. You have to observe the needle rule. The leftmost working needle must be on the front bed and the rightmost working needle must be on the back bed of the machine. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 3. Set the back lock the same way, the lever to N and the stitch size to 3. Insert your in strippers and take the yarn. I will use red and white acrylic yarn to make the back. I have threaded 3 strands in each eyelet. Now need to unroll. It should look like this. Now set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 4. Need two rolls. It should look like this. Set the front lock to GX. Set the back lock to N and increase the stitch size to 5. Remove the orange strippers and insert the black ones. We will need only on the back bed. Need 20 rows using these settings. The row counter must be at 23 rows and the lock must be on the left side of the machine. Set the front lock to N and increase the stitch size to 5. Set the back lock to GX. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its upper position. Remove the edge springs, take the double eye bodkin to and transfer all stitches to the front bed. Put all needles on the back bed out of working position. Place the edge springs on the last needles and make sure the latches are closed. Rotate the racking handle clockwise to its lowest position. Lower the front bed and attach weights to the hem. First I will attach two claw weights to the middle. Then I will hook these edge weights to the side. Need one row to finish the hem. Clear the row counter. Set the back lock to N. Remove the black strippers and insert the orange ones. 
Spray some 122 needles on the back bed. You have to observe the needle roll. Need two rolls using these settings. Clear the roll counter, set the front lock to BX, the stitch size to 4.5 and, and press the left arrow key. On the back lock, set the stitch size to 4.5. Raise pushers in working position and all working needles on the front bed. Need 20 rolls. Take the second color yarn and knit 20 rows without changing the settings on the locks. Change the colors again and knit 40 rows with the main color yarn. Slide the deco device to the right and attach it to the front lock. Push the selector dial and rotate it to 4. Take the punch card and insert it into the reader. I have already knitted the hem so the card must be inserted upside down. The arrow on the card is pointing at me. When the card is inserted you have to hear a click. Knit two rows using the main color yarn. Change the color and knit two rows. Change the color again and knit two rows. Change the colors on every two rows until you need the image. Hold the black lever on the reader and pull out the card. Push and rotate the selector dial to zero. Detach the deco from the front lock and slide it to the left side of the machine. When you need the image, the row counter must be at 106 rows. Need 40 rows with the main color yarn without changing the settings on the locks. Clear the row counter, change the color and knit 40 rows. The back is almost ready. Set the front lock to end and knit 2 rows. On the front lock increase the stitch size to 5. On the back lock increase the stitch size to 7. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its upper position. By the way, you can lower the pushers, we won't use them anymore. Remove the edge springs and use the double eye botkin tool to transfer all the stitches to the needles on the front bed of the machine. When you transfer the stitches, make sure all needles on the back bed are in working position. Rotate the racking handle clockwise to its lowest position in knit one row. Lower the front bed. Use the orange ruler to push the stitches towards the back bed. Use the yellow tool and make a simple chain stitch cast off.
When you take the last stitch, wrap the yarn from the lock behind the latch into the hook and pull it through. Then raise the front bed and remove the weights. Raise the needles all the way and remove the knitting from the machine. I'm slightly pulling the knitting with my left hand while I'm lowering the needles. This is the back right after you take it from the machine. This is the hem. Now we have to weave all yarn tails. Fold the back so the right side is inside and sew the sides. I want the stripes to be perfectly aligned so I will use several pins to hold everything in place. By the way, I have a few videos with Christmas decorations on the channel, you can check them if you want. I hand sewed the back but I'm not good at hand sewing so then I used my sewing machine. Take a safety pin and attach it to the end of the I-cord. Then push the safety pin through the hem. I will attach a stopper to each end of the cord. Insert the cord through the hole in the stopper, measure the final length of the cord and make several knots. Cut the excess cord and push the knots into the stopper. Then repeat the same steps to insert the second stopper. And the back is ready. It's 25 by 39 centimeters or 10 by 15 inches and it weighs 135 grams. That's all for today, thank you for watching, see you in my next video, I hope you have a nice and warm holiday season.